guys, it's Doris from Lookmazing and I'm back today to do another video for our Best of Beauty episodes and today's topic is going to be on blushes. So if you guys haven't been following along, I will link our other videos down below and what they are are pretty much we go through the top five products in different categories and we curate them from beauty editors with popular in the YouTube community as well as the top sellers from retail stores. So if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So the first blush I have up here is a classic one and this one is by MAC and MAC blushes are really popular and have been popular for a long time. It's one of those classic ones that you definitely want and this one I have here is in the powder formula and it's a matte formula. The color is mocha. This color I think is great for I would say that natural kind of a little bit of a glow but not nothing too harsh or extreme so it makes it great for everyday wear especially if you are wearing it for work it doesn't come off too strong but has that really nice glow to it as well so next I have a blush here by NARS and NARS is another one of those brands where there is a cult following with it and I think the packaging is very similar to MAC it has that dark finish and in terms of the formula this one is also a powder format and it is also really nice in terms of blending and it gives you that kind of natural flush glow too and I went with this lighter color here because I wanted to use it for the apples of my cheek to give that more baby flush look so this one I would say the most popular color would be orgasm and that's one I've used in the past for the one that is called Roman Holiday so the next one I have here is a top seller and this one is by Tarte. This is the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush and I really like this formula because it is a powder formula but it tends to have a little bit more staying power I feel like. It doesn't rub off as easily and this one in particular does have a little bit of I would say glitter slash shimmer to it so this is something that I would love to use for nighttime and this color in particular is called Memorable. So in terms of blending, I would say this one takes a little bit more, I would say, effort to blend and make sure it's kind of not that harsh line. So, but otherwise, in terms of color and the payoff you get, it's really, really nice. And next up, I have a drugstore one, and this one is a really popular one by Milani, and this is their baked blush. So in terms of the formula, the baked formula has this nice, I would say more mineral type of powder versus the powder blush is has a more chalkier feel, I would say. So this one has a little bit of an extra highlight in it as well, which is really, really nice. So you get that extra glow along with the color. And the one I have here is called Berry Amour, and it's a perfect color for wearing both daytime and nighttime as well. And it's really natural and something that's really great for the summer. So last but not least, I have here the blush from Clinique, and this is their Cheek Pop blush. And I really like this one because the formula is really nice. It's, I would say, between a powder and a cream. And when you put it on, it's really, really smooth and also very silky, so really easy to blend. And this one in particular is in the color Melon Pop. And I wanted something a little bit peachy, but not too orange. So this one is a perfect one between pink and peach and is also great for summer. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And let me know if there's any blushes that you really love that I didn't include in our top five. I know there's one by Hourglass that I really want to try. So if you guys have tried that, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you.